Hello everyone, let's start with a new video of Magento 2 Image Gallery. This module is highly beneficial for the Magento 2 store users as admin can easily add or manage images into various galleries and ga uh, galleries into various groups according to the requirement of the admin. And admin can easily manage uh, photos and images of the gallery and their groups. So to manage this module, we have to uh, log in to the admin panel. So here is our admin panel, demo admin panel. We have to go to uh, stores, configuration. So here you will get uh, image gallery under web cool. So here is the gallery setting. Uh, you can uh, set the gallery uh, effects like opening effect you can fade elastic or uh, none then the closing effect you can select any effect now the caption you can enable or disable the caption then the caption type inside outside float or over you can select any uh, caption type now the caption position you can set the caption position and then the background you can uh, select the background uh, type now the thumbs then the cyclic if uh, yes then the cyclic uh, images will be uh, displayed then the autoplay if you select yes uh, then the autoplay and here is the interval time uh, timer now the mouse wheel you can uh, Wrote, uh, you can change the images uh, from the mouse wheel now the borders then the slide count you can enable or disable these uh, now the control so here you can enable or disable the controls so that's all for the configuration part you can save the configuration by uh, clicking on the save button so now we will move to the image gallery menu. So here is the image gallery menu. The first menu is manage images. By clicking on this first Im uh, manage images menu, here are the existing uh, images of uh, our Magento 2. So these images have been added by our admin. So you can easily edit any image uh, from this uh, edit link. So you can change the image title, description, then the, you can delete the image or you can change the image, sort order, you can set the sort order. Now the status, you can enable or disable any image from here and you can uh, save uh, the modification from this save button. So that's all for the existing image addition part. Now uh, if admin wants to add a new image, then admin can click on add image. So here admin have to uh, enter the title, then the description, admin have to choose a file for the image. Uh, now the sort order, admin have to uh, write the sort order. Now admin can enable or disable this image, then admin, if admin will click on the save image, the image will be saved. So that's all for the managing image part. Now we will move to manage gallery. So here is the uh, existing gallery list you can edit any uh, gallery from uh, this edit button existing gallery so uh, you can change the gallery code or uh, enable or disable this gallery now the uh, we will move to the gallery images so here you can uh, select the gallery images you can select the thumbnail image which will be uh, displayed in the gallery uh, front page so here you can select any of the thumbnail image so that's you can uh, admin can easily save the gallery uh, from here or the modification from here so that's all for the gallery part uh, if admin wants to add a new gallery so admin can easily click on the add gallery button and here uh, the admin have to uh, enter the gallery code
uh, then admin can enable or disable this uh, gallery status now the gallery images so these are the images so admin can set select any image to be added in the gallery so I have selected some images so now uh, we will select any thumbnail image so we will select this image as a thumbnail and we will save the gallery so here is the success message that gallery has been uh, successfully saved so that's all for the managing the gallery part and now we will move to the manage group in this admin can edit uh, an existing group or admin can add a new group so at first we will uh, show you how admin can edit an existing group so here is a group code and enable disable drop down admin can modify it admin can uh, select galleries for this group so here is uh, some galleries so admin can select or deselect any gallery uh, from for this group and save the modification from the save group button so that's all for the managing uh, existing group admin can also add a new group so here admin have to uh, enter the group code and the status enabled or disabled and uh, then admin can select any gallery for this group and uh, by clicking on the save group button the uh, group will be saved so that's all for the uh, managing group menu now we will uh, move to the gallery setting so gallery setting will again redirect you to the configuration page here you can uh, configure your gallery as per uh, your requirement so that's all for the admin configuration and management part now we will move to the front end of uh, our uh, gallery so these are our galleries so here you can see uh, some of our galleries so if you click on any gallery it will display like this and here are two buttons to uh, slide next image so by clicking on this button the gallery image will be uh, changed and here is the cancel button uh, you can cancel uh, the gallery from here or you can close the gallery from here and you can open any gallery uh, like this and you can rotate the image or uh, previous or next view the previous or next image from here so that's all for uh, this gallery part I hope you understood how admin can easily uh, set or manage the gallery uh, groups and the images in this module and how uh, you can configure your gallery as per your need and how uh, it will be displayed in the front end so thank you for watching this video stay connected